Pierre Duhem. Pierre Maurice Marie Duhem, French, listen, June 9, 1861, September 14, 1916, was a French theoretical physicist who worked on thermodynamics, hydrodynamics, and the theory of elasticity. Duhem was also a historian of science, noted for his work on the European Middle Ages. As a philosopher of science, he is remembered principally for his views on the indeterminacy of experimental criteria, see Duhem Quine thesis. Theoretical Physics Among scientists, Duhem is best known today for his work on chemical thermodynamics, and in particular for the Gibbs Duhem and Duhem Margules equations. His approach was strongly influenced by the early works of Josiah Willard Gibbs, which Duhem effectively explicated and promoted among French scientists. In Continuum Mechanics, he is also remembered for his contribution to what is now called the Clausius Duhem inequality. Duhem was convinced that all physical phenomena, including mechanics, electromagnetism, and chemistry, could be derived from the principles of thermodynamics. Influenced by McCorn Rankin's outlines of the science of energetics, Duhem carried out this intellectual project in his Traité de l'Energetic, 1911, but was ultimately unable to reduce electromagnetic phenomena to thermodynamic first principles. With Ernst Mach, Duhem shared a skepticism about the reality and usefulness of the concept of atoms. He therefore did not follow the statistical mechanics of Maxwell, Boltzmann, and Gibbs, who explained the laws of thermodynamics in terms of the statistical properties of mechanical systems composed of many atoms. History of Science Duhem is well known for his work on the history of science, which resulted in the ten-volume Le Système du Monde, Histoire des Doctrines Cosmologiques de Platon à Copernic, The System of World, A History of Cosmological Doctrines from Plato to Copernicus. Unlike many former historians, for example Voltaire and Condorcet, who denigrated the Middle Ages, he endeavored to show that the Roman Catholic Church had helped foster Western science in one of its most fruitful periods. His work in this field was originally prompted by his research into the origins of statics, where he encountered the works of medieval mathematicians and philosophers such as John Buridan, Nicola Rasm, and Roger Bacon, whose sophistication surprised him. He consequently came to regard them as the founders of modern science, having in his view anticipated many of the discoveries of Galileo Galilei and later thinkers. Duhem concluded that the mechanics and physics of which modern times are justifiably proud to proceed, by an uninterrupted series of scarcely perceptible improvements, from doctrines professed in the heart of the medieval schools. Duhem popularized the concept of saving the phenomena. In addition to the Copernican Revolution debate of saving the phenomena, Greek sigma zeta epsilon iota nu tau phi alpha iota nu mu epsilon nu alpha, says ain ta phenomena, versus offering explanations that inspired Duhem was Thomas Aquinas, who wrote, regarding eccentrics and epicycles, that Philosophy of Science Duhem's views on the philosophy of science are explicated in his 1906 work The Aim and Structure of Physical Theory. In this work, he opposed Newton's statement that the Principia's law of universal mutual gravitation was deduced from phenomena, including Kepler's second and third laws. Newton's claims in this regard had already been attacked by critical proof analyses of the German logician Leibniz and then most famously by Immanuel Kant, following Hume's logical critique of induction. But the novelty of Duhem's work was his proposal that Newton's theory of universal mutual gravity flatly contradicted Kepler's laws of planetary motion because the interplanetary mutual gravitational perturbations caused deviations from Keplerian orbits. Since no proposition can be validly logically deduced from any it contradicts, according to Duhem, Newton must not have logically deduced his law of gravitation directly from Kepler's laws. Duhem's name is given to the underdetermination or Duhem Quine thesis which holds that for any given set of observations there is an innumerably large number of explanations. It is, in essence, the same as Hume's critique of induction. All three variants point at the fact that empirical evidence cannot force the choice of a theory or its revision. That possible alternatives to induction are Duhem's instrumentalism and Popper's thesis that we learn from falsification. As popular as the Duhem Quine thesis may be in the philosophy of science, in reality Pierre Duhem and Willard van Orman Quine stated very different theses. Pierre Duhem believed that experimental theory in physics is fundamentally different from fields like physiology and certain branches of chemistry. Also Duhem's conception of theoretical group has its limits, since not all concepts are connected to each other logically. He did not include at all a priori disciplines such as logic and mathematics within these theoretical groups in physics which can be tested experimentally. 
Quine, on the other hand, conceived this theoretical group as a unit of a whole human knowledge. To Quine, even mathematics and logic must be revised in light of recalcitrant experience, a thesis that Duhem never held. Duhem's philosophy of science was criticized by one of his contemporaries, Abel Ray, in part because of what Ray perceived as influence on the part of Duhem's Catholic faith. Opposition to the English inductivist tradition Duhem argues that physics is subject to certain methodological limitations that do not affect other sciences. In his The Aim and Structure of Physical Theory, 1914, Duhem critiqued the Baconian notion of crucial experiments. According to this critique, an experiment in physics is not simply an observation, but rather an interpretation of observations by means of a theoretical framework. Furthermore, no matter how well one constructs one's experiment, it is impossible to subject an isolated single hypothesis to an experimental test. Instead, it is a whole interlocking group of hypotheses, background assumptions, and theories that is tested. This thesis has come to be known as confirmation holism. This inevitable holism, according to Duhem, renders crucial experiments impossible. More generally, Duhem was critical of Newton's description of the method of physics as a straightforward deduction from facts and observations. In the appendix to the aim and structure, entitled Physics of a Believer, Duhem draws out the implications that he sees his philosophy of science as having for those who argue that there is a conflict between physics and religion. He writes, Metaphysical and religious doctrines are judgments touching on objective reality, whereas the principles of physical theory are propositions relative to certain mathematical signs stripped of all objective existence. Since they do not have any common term, these two sorts of judgments can neither contradict nor agree with each other. p. 285. Nonetheless, Duhem argues that it is important for the theologian or metaphysician to have detailed knowledge of physical theory in order not to make illegitimate use of it in speculations works articles Duhem's mathematics papers from numdam works in english translation articles articles contributed to the 1912 catholic encyclopedia contributed to the 1912 catholic 